My name's Jason Hallam, I'm the CPN Technical Specification Manager for CPN QDIS and I'm here today to talk about surge protection, protection against over voltage. Lifts, large machinery, lightning strikes, proximity lightning strikes can all generate over voltage scenarios. We have approximately in the UK 250 to 300,000 ground lightning strikes in the UK, so we're not immune. In 2012, we had a record 110,000 recorded ground strikes in one day. Now, the various types of protection devices you can use to protect against over voltage. There is a type one, a class one device. These are fitted at the origin of an electrical supply and are mainly used in buildings that have a lightning protection system or are fed from a close overhead source. Type 2, Class 2, again these are fitted in buildings at the origin where overhead and lightning protection systems are not fitted or coordinated downstream from a Class 1 in sub distribution boards. Type 3, Class 3s, these are fitted next to the sensitive equipment, PCs, workstations, sensitive electron equipment, fire alarm panels, cash tools, data rooms and so on. Surge protection devices do sacrifice in extreme cases but will operate dealing with most over voltage scenarios all day long. In section 443 of BS 76M1, there are five levels of consequences you need to consider when carrying out a new installation. And they are consequences related to human life, safety services, medical equipment in hospitals, for example, first aid rooms, dentists. Consequences to public services, e.g. loss of public services, IT centres and museums. So in that category you could take libraries, council offices, buildings. And then you have level three, which is consequences to commercial or industry, e.g. hotels, banks, commercial markets, farms and industry. Those three levels of consequences, it is said that over voltage protection shall be required. A risk assessment calculation is not required as the result will always lead to it is required. In some cases, you may come across that the end climb falls into consequences 1, 2 and 3 in section 443 of BSM 6M1. Doesn't want the additional expense of having surge protection fitted. Then I would personally say get them to sign the installation certificate saying they don't want it fitting and you'll tend to find that they will end up having it fitted. Level four, consequences to groups or individuals, e.g. large residential buildings, churches, offices, schools. Level five, consequences to individuals, e.g. small, medium residential buildings, small offices. Homes obviously fall into that criteria as well. Consequences levels four and five in section 443 of BS 7671 is based on a risk assessment calculation. Without going through the calculation, in some cases, this can be determined quite quickly. Is there a lightning protection system fitted to the property? Is the overhead supply close? Or are they on a hill next to a church? Then my answer would always be yes, offer surge protection. For more information, you can call our sales office on 0161 765 3000 or visit www.qdis.co.uk.